To those who think Subaru only makes sport utility vehicles, may we present the new generation 2015 Legacy, the dependable soul of a Subaru in a sedan. 2015 Legacy, sedan, Subaru style. John Moore reporting for sportsandmore.com from the Halifax Waterfront, joined by Andrew Bodner and Chuck here. And uh, early July, and Andrew, congratulations on a, on a uh, Calder Cup championship with the Manchester Monarchs. And, of course, on the heels of that, uh, you now have signed a one-year two-way deal with the Columbus Blue Jackets. It's been a pretty exciting time. Yeah, it's, uh, it's been uh, quite a few weeks um, when you go as far as we did and uh, win a championship, which is unbelievable. It was uh, quite a ride. Uh, there's not a lot of turnover uh, until free agency, so the guys... Uh, on our team that uh, became unrestricted free agents didn't have a whole lot of time before they were, uh, found themselves in a new organization. But uh, um, like I said, it's been a whirlwind and uh, everything's worked out really well to this point. For years with the Manchester, Manchester Monarchs, uh, now that you're in the Columbus organization, I know you're you're anxious to get an opportunity. How do you see this? What 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 is the opportunity that sits in front of you? Uh, that's what it is an opportunity. I think. Uh, um, I put in my work and put in my time, and obviously Columbus has seen something in me uh, that might fit into their organization. And uh, at this point, uh, it's kind of uh, the ball's in my park as far as uh, uh, what I do with it this summer and how I prepare uh, heading into training camp. And uh, uh, we'll know more once we get there to training camp, but uh, I'm definitely chomping at the bit. And uh, um, it, all you want is an opportunity and a chance, and I think uh, I might have that with the Columbus organization and talking to their people. I think it's there, so uh, I'm really excited and uh, glad where I've landed. Uh, I make the assumption that you've taken a good look at the Blue Jackets uh, uh, depth on, on the on the blue line in the organization? Uh, yeah definitely we talked uh, we talked quite a bit about their uh, their depth and where they see me and uh, um, like I said uh, earlier at this point uh, the ball's in my court it's it's what I do this summer to prepare it's it's what I've done the past couple years that uh, that uh, piqued their interest. So uh, right now the ball's in my court as far as uh, uh, coming to camp, playing the way I know I can, and uh, when I do get the chance, uh, rising to the occasion and, uh, and playing the way I know I can and uh, um, do doing what they brought me into the organization to do. Quickly looking back at the, at the Calder Cup championship, uh, uh, what a run. Uh, what is there a moment that, that stands out in your mind or perhaps a couple? Uh, there's there's many moments. It was uh, it was quite a year from from start to finish. We had uh, an unbelievable group of guys. We uh, uh, in the locker room. Uh, we had the best group of guys I've ever played with. Uh, uh, we didn't have any really odd balls or uh, odd man out or any clicks of that kind. And uh, it was a really enjoyable time. And uh, uh, we had new coach Mike Stothers who who really brought the best out of everyone in the locker room. And uh, looking back on the playoffs, it's kind of a blur. It seems like a whole different season, but. Uh, uh, if you really break it down series by series, it, it was just a blast of a ride. And uh, I, I think the biggest thing that sticks out is probably uh, um, after we lost in the finals to Utica, the game after that, bouncing back and uh, and uh, that, that feeling in your gut and on heading into the last game that uh, you could seal it up and uh, end with a championship. And uh, that's what happened. And uh, I guess you could say we have a lot of friends for life now uh, from that Monarchs team. Back in at home in Halifax for, for the summer once again, J.P. McCollum has, of course, been working with you uh, throughout the summers. Uh, tell me what uh, you hope to accomplish training with J.P. this season when you head to that Blue Jackets camp. Uh, the same thing we've done every summer, and uh, I hope to accomplish the same things I have every summer. Uh, I think fitness has never been an issue for me uh, heading into training camp, and uh, I got home uh, the exact same date last year, having gone on the cup run with uh, uh, Los Angeles as a black ace. I got home uh, June 18th, and that's when I got home this year, and uh, I'm right back to training, and uh, I was lucky uh, to end the year with no injuries, so I didn't have to take too much time off. But uh, I'm looking to go into camp the same shape I always have with a, a good mindset, and I think some good things will happen. Thanks for this, Andrew. Congratulations again. Thanks, John.